Sorry for you guys that tuned in expecting earlier to see the Kona beer. I had done something a little bit differently here on the system. I tried to schedule it out, and apparently I didn't click something I needed to click to actually get it set to go properly tonight. So I did do that video, and if you are on the Facebook page or the Twitch channel, it did go through there. It just didn't go through on YouTube. So I will have that uploaded for... Uh, tomorrow for you guys but this was the one i had done earlier this was the uh, big wave from kona and you guys can check that video out when you like but since i wanted to go live and see what you guys are up to tonight as well i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up and go to the mango milkshake from braxton labs so there you go there what is going on todd welcome my friend so this is the India Pale Ale with lactose, mango puri, and vanilla beans. Part of the milkshake series. Comes in at 7% ABV. Uh, whoops, microphone fell off here. It's definitely a Monday. Got all kinds of things happening. Uh, let's see here. Date-wise, this one, it is on the can. If I can find it because it was on the pack when I got them. But I know it's like within like the last month or maybe two. Uh, so not really too far out for uh, enjoying this one. It is part of the Milkshake series, as I mentioned. And 16-ounce can, Braxton Labs, a great spot to check out if you're ever in Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky area. Again, there is a full look at the can itself. Let's get this baby into a glass. And for this, I'm going to use my India Parallel glass. Hopefully you guys are having a good Monday out there as well. Almost an Italian soda type feel in the texture of it. Nice mouth feel. Body wise, nice medium body on this one. A nice one to kick back with the weather being a little bit warmer now. This would be a nice one to have if I was out like grilling or something like that. It's a perfect one to kind of have in that type of atmosphere. Not over juiced like some of the beers of this style, so really nice there. That nice fruity feel from the hops really comes through. And now I'm getting more of that tone in the back end finish of the vanilla. But this one, pretty decent. Nothing else really too much, I think, on the can here. That lactose does add a nice creamy feel to it. If you're not familiar with Braxton Labs, the camera zooms in here. This is like their story 
that they put on all of their cans as well. And Braxton Labs is really the offshoot small batch processing brewery for Braxton Brewing here in Northern Kentucky. They're having some pretty good expansion. They have been over the last few years since they opened. Obviously, they're affected here too a little bit with the, uh, the coronavirus. Let me see if they put anything else out there on this beer to tell you guys about. Uh, this is, okay, so they said this is the first in their canned milkshake series at Braxton Labs. Smooth and creamy IPA loaded with tropical fruit flavors, citra hops, and a whirlpool and dry hopping, keeping the bitterness low while laying a foundation of orange, lemon, and pineapple hop flavors, a re-fermentation on mango puri, and conditioning on Madagascar, bourbon, vanilla beans, create the fruited milkshake finish that is sure to please all. Yeah, and so that was the vanilla that I was mentioning coming in on the back end. And uh, it does have a nice bouquet of the flavor for sure. This wouldn't be bad to actually make into one of the beer floats that people have started to do. I could see like an orange sherbet or something like that in this one would be a nice little matchup to hang on that flavor especially as it's warm. But for their first attempt at the series, they did a pretty damn good job. I'm going to tell you, I'm never really disappointed at Braxton Labs. They always are pretty solid. Hey, what is going on, Ron? Cheers, my friend. And uh, yeah, so this one is from here in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. Braxton Labs, the mango milkshake india pale ale and you can see there on the can with lactose mango puri and vanilla beans and now that i've read the other thing i'm trying to get it closer for you guys madagascar vanilla beans so for some reason the camera's not zooming in now like it was previously oh let me see here yeah todd says great spot highly recommend braxton labs yeah todd has been here a couple times now at least and uh great stuff that they are putting out for sure and they're still putting some stuff out now they're actually doing the uh pickup you can order online they'll put it in your car um or you can stop by where they're open social distancing i think you can order there as well um and then if you're close to them i think they're doing local delivery so they're doing all they can to get the beer out to the people what is going on carnal flores welcome my friend Gonna let that ride for sure, my friend. Hopefully all is well. And uh, hopefully all you guys are safe, by the way, too, if I didn't say that. So different things are happening all around different country here. So people are, um, you know, dealing with all that's happening. Some places are trying, I think, move towards trying to get some things reopened. But I think we're still early away from that. I don't see much happening before the end of April myself. Um and even the way some of the stuff may go, maybe out towards mid-May before Memorial Day. Hey, what is going on? John Hillbilly select in the house. Good to see you, my friend, as well. Great channel you guys can also check out down there, just south of me, down in the Louisville area. So um, beer, wine, tea, uh, coffee, just kind of kicks it around with all kinds of stuff. I think also some of the spirits. And Ron says, play Southside Johnny, we're having a party. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's having a party these, these days where people can't do anything, you know. Hopefully, everybody's surviving and striving okay out there. Obviously, we know a lot of people have unfortunately been in positions where they, well, the worst position is being sick and affected by this thing, right? But then some people have lost their jobs or are being laid off and everything like that. So, it's a, it's a tough run right now, but I'm hoping that we get through it. Um, Good day in the markets today. If you were out in the market, you had a little bit of a rebound out there, which was nice. But as far as a refreshing type beer, this is definitely it. I do get some of that pineapple now that it's warmed up a little bit more. So a nice tropical blast, a creamsicle in beer form, essentially, that I would say definitely check out if you guys get a chance and then todd was asking hillbilly you think he said it before but what part of louisville he's at because todd's right across there down in indiana 
You guys might have been in the same brewery at some point or somewhere and didn't even know. <laughs> you guys are right there in the same vicinity for the most part. Carbonation definitely does kick it up. <laughs> well, don't kill you, but kill, we're going to kill it. <laughs> Make sure moderation, Ron. You don't want to go too crazy with the alcohol. <laughs> So some days though, it's kind of like, are we on vacation right now? What is going on? But now, uh, definitely got to be moderation, my friend. Oh, uh, and Hillbilly said East End, Middletown, and Todd said, yeah, probably so. It wouldn't be surprising. You probably, you guys may have crossed paths at some point, didn't even realize it. And uh, Marty Simkowski in the house, welcome, Marty. It's been a while. Hopefully, you're safe where you're at as well, my friend. Cheers to you and to you and the fam and everything. And uh, toss it up in Salisbury. And Didi said, uh, what's up, Rod? What day is it, right? They're all running together. So there was no doubt about it. Today was definitely a Monday. I can tell you that from work. Today was a Monday. <laughs> hey, what is going on, Ron? <laughs> hams down. I need to still get the hams so I can do the hams review for you. I just haven't been able to get to the other store that really has the hams. But I haven't forgot about you. I'm still going to do the hams review. And Blue Nose says, hope you're well, mate. Nice, Harry. Good to see you, my friend. I am, and hopefully you are as well, and all, all your people and everybody over there. It's uh, kind of crazy. Um, saw the Prime Minister went to uh, one of the machines to actually provide oxygen over there in the UK. So that's kind of scary for you guys on what may be taking place there. And I guess the Deputy Prime Minister was speaking earlier today about stuff, but... Uh, this thing is popping up all over the place. So, uh, he really said Todd, where he was at in Indiana. And I think Todd said Sellersburg up there, a little bit higher. Uh, Didi said, Cheers, everyone. Uh, Todd said, No, Middletown, pretty good. And uh, he really said, Got it. Uh, been out for two weeks, I think. Yeah. Well, depending on where you're at in the country or not just the U.S. and Canada, Italy, Europe, you know, wherever, it could be however many weeks to you now that you've actually been, you know, almost in one spot, you know, here, I think we're like week three or four, but I think if you were like in Italy, Italy, you're probably like, like week nine or 10 or something, right? If you, China's just starting to get out again, which was kind of crazy today. They showed China lifting a little bit of their stuff and everybody like went to the great wall or something like that. It's like, they're like, you're still at higher risk. Don't be all getting together like that. And all these people were just converged. So it's like, not under afraid it may kick up again, so that'll be interesting to see. When things get back to normal, we should meet up for a beer. He was saying hillbilly as well. And Blue Nose said Prime Minister's intensive care, so yeah, but I think UK beer folk are good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it was intensive care, and then I saw the oxygen machine they mentioned, and uh even the Queen that actually spoke, which is like only like her fifth time of really doing something like that. Um, so it's kind of crazy right now. Todd said, what's up to DD? said, uh, hey, Todd, how you doing? Good, thanks. How about you? So everybody kind of kicking it back and forth, which is always good. But, uh, yeah, it'll be kind of interesting going forward to see what ends up happening. Um, just got to stay tuned every day. It's like you get the news, uh, broadcast, the president comes out and speaks and, it's almost like a soap opera at this point, I feel, just kind of watching it. It's like, I was turning, I was watching American Pickers earlier. I was like, you're not going to watch the news? I'm like, it's the same thing every time. It's like one little thing changes. It's not enough for me to get sucked into it every night. But um, it's just kind of crazy. Uh, Eric's in the house. Said, what up, brother? What is going on, Eric? Cheers, my friend. Um, and Hillbilly said, definitely up for a beer when that ends. Yeah, I'm going to actually head down at some point, too, down your way. Um, Todd and Eric and Shannon all came up and we got together before the beer fest, right before Corona get in. And uh, Janice actually mentioned earlier this week Whoops. that we should go down to Todd and Shannon when this thing is all done. So we'll be definitely heading down to the Louisville area for sure. And uh, got some spots to hit down there too. Um... Begin the house. What is up, Eric Todd said, and Eric said he's drinking a Keystone Light and just got done watching Saving Private Ryan. 
A Keystone Light? You don't know a Keystone Light? <laughs> oh, Keystone Ice. Like, that makes it that much better. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan, a movie I still haven't seen. So I got to, I don't know, maybe I'll watch that one day. Uh, but finding some rod deals, actually, the DD said. Oh, what, do tell. What have you actually been finding out there? Um, hopefully some really good stuff. Uh, Eric said, that was Thomas Mel 75. Yo, what is going on? Uh, Todd says, DD, no one gets a true Rod J deal. LOL. <laughs> I mean, you know, people, some people get there. I mean, you know, you were a guest of mine up here, Ty. I took you to a spot. You got a deal when you were in town. And all you guys got deals when you went to Braxton Labs. So, not just me. And then Todd asked, yeah, what do you got? Uh, nope, don't want you showing up, DD said. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I could call and they'll have them, have them ship it to me. <laughs> there's there's actually some places probably cutting some deals out there. So you got like overstock and people aren't be coming in to buy it. So everybody might be getting deals. This is Tasha. Yeah, I did experience the Rod J deals. Braxton Labs is the bomb. Dot com. Eric said too. Yeah, I mean, they are so freaking solid of a, uh, of a brewery thus far. So they're one of the ones I'm not... I mean, you can't ever say that one can't get in trouble at some point, but I'm not, they're not one of the ones I'm as concerned to make it through this. They've done a good job. They have a good business model, um, but some of the other smaller ones around, I don't know how much they can actually hold out. Like, you know, for instance, we all went to Streetside Brewing, and Streetside is a smaller one, and they don't really distribute outside of the brewery. You got to go there to buy canned stuff and everything like that. They make really good beer. I don't know how far they actually will go outside, you know, if with things happen, how far they can actually make it or what their margins are. Uh, Eric asked, Todd, didn't we have that milkshake IPA? You guys may have after dinner that night when you guys came over to Braxton. This one was out the time you were here, I believe. I'm thinking the same thing with a couple of different ones for sure. They actually have an offshoot of this one, too. They have one that's the uh, mango milkshake with blueberry. And they have one where it's a mango milkshake, blackberry, and mint. So you guys may have had the offshoot of them as well when you were there, depending. Either way, it is good stuff for sure. Uh, let me see here. Hillbilly said, have I spoke to Jonathan Owen lately? I haven't seen him post a video in a few months. I spoke to Jonathan. He messaged me. <sighs> this is like week four. I think it was like five weeks ago because he actually has a new gig where he's at at one of our newer hotels that's opening. But... Because of the coronavirus stuff, they kind of delayed the opening of it. That delayed him from actually starting to work there. But last I talked to him, he was still doing okay. Um, he came from a pretty decent background. I don't know if you guys know his background before he went to Party Source. So I'm thinking he actually has some money saved up as well. So I don't think they were in a, a big dire strait or anything like that. That he was able to land this job and I think they'll be okay. But obviously he needs that definitely to open up so he can get back out there doing stuff. He's pretty excited about it because it'll be like a bartender at one of the newer, I say I don't say prestigious, but kind of a boutique type hotel that we're going to have here. So once they do open, I'm definitely going to swing by and try to shoot some video down there as well, show some support as well. Um, I think we had that one, the campfire rod I did tonight. Yeah, I still got to do the review on the campfire. That'll be upcoming along with the uh, sour ale as well. Uh, Eric said, I think so too. Don't forget to smash that piece, that like piece. I appreciate that, Eric. Thank you very much. And DDS Eric, how it was also going. And tomorrow, now tomorrow is National Beer Day. So tomorrow's going to be an awesome day. And actually, I, have to, I was supposed to prepare a video that I was going to upload to share with you guys what National Beer Day was all about. But tomorrow night at 8.30, if you haven't seen it on the community tab or whatever, it'll be, um... A national beer day stream that we'll actually do and i will actually have on a panel some of the other beer tubers from around the community so some pretty good 
beer tubers that will be getting together to talk about different beer type aspect of things. Um, some from the newer guys to some of the big hitters. So it's kind of going to be a variety of the people coming in from their beer channels. Um, and it should be a fun night of talking beer. We're going to start that at 830 tomorrow. Uh, so that should be a pretty good time. Beer Flow Show will be later this week on Thursday. And then Wednesday night, I'll probably do a little something, but I have to find out from Beer Chugs because I might go to his channel to do what the ABV if he does it again Wednesday night, depending. But one of the things I'm actually doing is switch up the schedule a little bit. So we always do the Beer Flow Show at 9.15 on Thursdays. So what I'm going to start doing is just at 9.15 each night, look to actually have something going here on the channel. Um, that'll be starting like as of Thursday, except for, <laughs> I say that as of Thursday, right? Except for Friday, because Friday, I'm actually going to be a guest over on Daddy Porter's show. Um, and that'll be Friday at nine. So he was uploading the information earlier. I'm going to get his thing and I'll pop it in the community tab. So you guys know about that as well. And if you haven't followed Daddy Porter on uh, YouTube, make sure you check out his channel because he does a lot of fun beer stuff and he gets a lot of key people on his channel uh some cicerones some people that are from the breweries so a lot of good knowledge being shared over there he's one of the newer channels so any support he definitely will appreciate that as well but yeah it's national beer day tomorrow which will be nice um for a nice little uh beer drinking holiday as if we need a holiday to really drink beer i mean we don't really need a reason to do that. So, but uh, look out for that tomorrow. And speaking of drinking, I mean, Eric said he's drinking his Keystone Ice. Is anybody else drinking anything right now out there that they want to mention that they're enjoying at this time? Or is everybody taking the light because it's a Monday? Nobody wants to have that Monday, that Monday hit. Keystone Ice. Just wanted to get back into the ice beer rod. All right, nothing, nothing wrong with that. That's for sure. I always enjoy a nice ice beer. It's funny. Um. I was in the store the other day and I was looking there and they have uh, individual cans of the Milwaukee's Best Ice. And I'm like, have I ever done a review of Milwaukee's Best Ice? Obviously I have, right? Because who would want to really do a review of Milwaukee's Best Ice? And I'm like, I should get that one night and do a review of it. But I didn't pick it up at that point. But it's just funny seeing that beer there. And there's some other ones that were there too, so... Maybe I'll do like a, a cheap beer series or something like that. Taking the night off. All right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> oh, Eric said, can't do that one. Too much alcohol taste in his opinion. So the Milwaukee Best Ice is a no-no. Uh, not on purpose anyway, LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, if you get a Milwaukee's Best Ice, it's probably like you've gotten it after you've had other things already that you can get away with and it doesn't bother you as much. If you were starting out the night... You wouldn't want to start with a Milwaukee's Best Ice. Hey, miscellaneous in the house. What is going on, my friend? He said, uh, wow, he did a $300 beer run today. Dude, you loaded up. Did you, <coughs> did you get some teals in there or anything like that? Or was it just you were getting what you were getting? Uh, Didi said, finally drank that old Rasputin Russian Imperial style. It was like drinking an Almond Joy and not having to share it with my wife. Oh, pure pleasure then, right? <laughs> old Rasputin is, uh, itself is pretty good. The Imperial, I'm sure is pretty decent too. Or is the Rasputin already, it's already an Imperial because it's at 9% or something, I believe. Um, but Old Rasputin is a great beer. North Coast does a great job there. I've actually got... A couple of North Coast beers down in the cooler I need to do reviews on as well. So, a nice brewery from out on the West Coast. So I'll pick my own familiars and some new ones. All right. Well, Miscellaneous, I would definitely check out your uh, your beer run there. And if you guys aren't with Miscellaneous, make sure you check out his channel as well. 
he's doing some of the good beer stuff too. I still need to pick up that Crunkles that I haven't uh, picked up yet. Next time I go on the beer run from uh, Terrapin, you really raved about it. And it's got me interested to actually see what it has to offer there. So I do have that on the list as well. But this mango milkshake IPA is something that makes me say, okay, maybe I'll stick with the milkshake IPA style, right? Because they actually are doing pretty good with it. When done right, it's a nice style that I enjoy. Yeah, so you say like that beer was different. You were even like uh, a little tongue-tied describing it because it hits you kind of like with stuff you weren't used to, so... Terrapin does actually some decent beers. They take a little bit of flack as well because they're like another one that's under like one of the uh, the big companies, a portion of them. So some people kind of give them stuff all the time, but I think they still do some decent beers. You know, my whole thing is about trying the beers. Obviously, as I said numerous times, I like to go local, I like to go independent, but I will try some of the bigger ones too because I do want to experience certain beers. And there are breweries that are bigger now that still make good beers right like you're not going to stop drinking um some of the ones like lagunitas and them that actually are under the companies because they're still making decent stuff oh that sounds great milkshake love them untitled arts makes some good ones yeah untitled arts makes some great ones there haven't picked up any of their stuff in a while i can get their stuff at one of my spots here jungle gyms that some of the guys here have seen the video i'm sure that i put on the channel which is like an adult playground for alcohol um you could literally be in there for hours and especially with them having restaurants inside you can take a break grab something to eat they got beer on tap you can have a draft or something get back up and go find more beers so that's the one store my wife hates going with me to and really doesn't do it just because she knows i'll be in there for a while uh, 450 North, right, Todd? Well, <laughs> well, it's no 450 North on this one, I can tell you, but it's pretty good. But do we know the ABV on 450 North? Can we trust it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is 7% ABV. <laughs> uh, I had the peach milkshake, was amazing. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I mentioned earlier having this one as like a beer float with like a orange or something mango sorbet it would actually work really well yeah hops executioner is an excellent one from terrapin as well that's really solid as an ipa <laughs> right two percent like we don't know what is your abv we don't know what your abv is right now it's uh it says like eight on the can but can we trust you can we trust that number hey what is going on ariel cheers welcome good to see you hopefully all is going well for you tonight as well Yeah. Uh, Miss Laney said, do you have it in the fridge? Oh, so you got one of the hop executioners as well. Nice. Yeah, and I actually found, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, because I'm going to do a video on it, but I actually found a new site that can actually be used with YouTube just like StreamYard. But you can do more stuff with it and you can set it up and you can run it through OBS. So then you can stream your channel out to various channels at one time. And guess what? Because I'm the king of the deals, it's all free. So I'm gonna do a video about that one as well, but I don't wanna give you the surprise on what it is yet, but it's a pretty cool site. I just found out about it yesterday. I was messing around with it earlier today. Some of the different things you can set up and do so. Be on the lookout for that, and it could take your streaming game to the next level. Uh, Arius of Miscellaneous, you're such an amazing person. And uh, Arius, ooh, game changer. Yeah, it is. It's uh, I had not heard about it until I did some research the other day, kind of just searching the internet on some other stuff to look at. Just because I don't dislike StreamYard, but I'm like, there has to be some other companies out there doing stuff, and I came across this one. And you can actually think, get up to like maybe eight people on it, but you can resize stuff. You can bring in overlays. You can do all kinds of things. And you basically send out an invite just like you do with StreamYard. But now I can send it out to you guys, which I may do this on Thursday night when we do the Beer Flow show. I'll send you guys the link and then we'll be on the OBS. So then we have stuff we can play through the OBS, which is nice. So if I want to do stuff like, 
sound effects and all that kind of stuff. I can now add that audio. I can do all kinds of backdrops like I have up here now. So you'll see. It's a, it'll be it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, Sun King is testing the slushies for them now. Yeah, and Sun King is pretty reputable as well. Um, they team up with Ryan Geis once in a while. Uh, have you had any of the Austin Brothers slushy series? Eric had asked Todd and me, and I have not. I have not seen those to actually check out yet. And Todd says he had has and asked if Eric did. Eric said yes. He'll get some and send a beer mail package. Nice. And I got so many. I got so many. So much beer still in the cellar right now. It's kind of like I think in the cellar. Well, <laughs> I say I got a lot, but if you ever had Joe in here from the Beer Patrol, he probably has three times more than I have. Um, Kyle from No Hype, he may have, he probably has a little bit more than I have as well. But uh, definitely got a lot down there in the cellar. I still got to work through. Uh, let me see here. Ariel's, and I literally just moved to your channel, and it's great to see her here. Nice. Yeah, Ariel came in a while back. Um, through Bounty, I believe, and we connected over there, and Pilo's here, hey, what's going on, Pilo, cheers, good to see you, and uh, appreciate Ariel when she joined up, and then Miss Linus, you were like, I think Bounty and Beer Man, so you were kind of both sides there, um, Miss Linus said, didn't expect it, <laughs> Dude, all kinds, all kinds of people tune in, uh, Pilo says, hey, Miscellaneous, good to see you too. And Miscellaneous says, hello to Pilo as well. So yeah, here chilling on a Monday night. And uh, I was actually making a roast earlier. I chimed in a little bit on um, Bounty Show when Pilo was in the chat and said hello to her then. Um, but I didn't jump on their stream because I was actually cooking at the time. But uh, Bounty by Observation, great channel if you guys haven't checked him out. Um, he has a great channel, great panel on there. They do a lot of fun stuff. Good time to kick back. I mean, definitely check out Bounty by Observation as well. And check out Pilo Pepper and check out Ariel too. Both of them actually do some stuff here on YouTube also. And you guys already know to check out Miscellaneous. So, But yeah, but uh, this was definitely a, a Monday for sure. And like I said, I was supposed to do... The review on this one so if you guys had looked at the community tab wondering why am i not talking about the kona beer when i set up the stream it didn't stream properly it actually streamed to my twitch channel and to my facebook page but it didn't stream to youtube so i downloaded it off of uh, twitch i'm going to re-upload that to a uh, youtube so you guys can see that video there so i said well i still want to go live so that's why i grabbed the mango milkshake yeah you guys are always having fun on that channel for sure it's always a good time and Pilo also said hello to everyone as well. So I was going to ask Pilo, because Pilo's Pilo Pepper. So you do a lot with peppers on your channel, Pilo? Because I, I know you like, I think, spicy food and stuff. But I don't know if you were doing a lot of uh, peppers as well. Uh, let me see here. And then Eric says, how are you doing on Twitch, by the way? It's a, uh, eh. I'm kind of in the category for just chatting, so it has some people picking up here and there. Um, I don't see anybody really on there tonight or whatever. Twitch is such a gaming type channel. I don't expect to get a lot out of it, but it's just, if I can put something there, why not? I mean, it creates a different opportunity. There are a couple beer channels that have tried stuff over there. Occasionally you'll find some stuff, but you know, it's just new ground to kind of tap into. Uh, Ron says, talk about Kona, but so, well, I mean, the Kona one, which you'll see the video tomorrow. Tonight, I did the uh, the Big Wave Golden Ale, which, if you're not familiar with Golden Ales, they actually are a nice crossover style, as I mentioned in the video. Um, they give you a little bit of a feel like a lager, an adjunct type lager, but Obviously, it's different yeast being used, and it's an ale, so it ferments differently, and usually you get more of a hoppier type feel there as well. Not really strong bittering, but you get enough of the hops to give you a little bit of that hop type feel to it. And that one was actually a nice crisp and refreshing one. Um, probably out of the variety pack, the Big Wave was probably my favorite out of the four that I had. The other two were the Castaway IPA and the Cuba Bay IPA, but... Uh, 
This one surprisingly was uh, better than I thought it was going to be. Um, was the IPAs weren't bad either. Neither was the uh, the uh, longboard. Is just I'm more always more of an ale person, so they hit me a little bit more. Uh, speaking of a roast, I made a Greek leg of lamb. It's gone along with two glasses of wine. Well, there you go. Greek leg of lamb. Do you have any like red potatoes with it or anything like that? I can see red potatoes with the leg of lamb and maybe some green vegetables. A lot of people, I don't like them, but a lot of people like asparagus. I can see going with it. I would be more of a green bean type person myself. So, <laughs> uh, you hopped up yet? Not hopped up, not yet. <laughs> But I was only going to do one. I did two tonight just so I could come on and do a live stream with you guys. But yeah, other beers that you guys want to see, let me know. I've been teasing Todd and Eric. We're about due for another malt liquor beer flow show. So that is something we might put up at some point here too. Um, I actually tuned in to Tim's beer reviews earlier. And Tim is down in uh, South Carolina, if you haven't checked him out. And he had actually done one of the Four Locos, some, a new Four Loco flavor. So um, he didn't really like it as much, but he said he would finish it. He was actually uh, had finished fishing, so he was like skinning the fish or whatever, gutting the fish. But uh, I just don't got to use for Four Loco as much, but I might try it just to try it. <laughs> I, know Ty, I know how Todd feels about Four Loco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beer stash is only like one minute and 30 long. LOL. Well, all you gotta do is show all the uh, the beers, right, and everything like that, and uh, go through them. It depends, you know, it depends how long you want to do a video like that. If you just show like a video and all the beers you picked up, I usually break mine down. So, oh, uh, Magnus got the narwhal. Narwhal is a nice one. Uh, Eric says, Yikes on a four loco. Hops and buds are related. Yeah, hops and buds. Basically, um, hops and cannabis, you can kind of say, are basically like cousins and strains. So uh, you can't really brew beer from a hop. You can't really smoke a hop. But, I mean, you can't really brew beer from a bud. You can't really smoke a hop. But, again, they're like part of the same type of vine strain as well. So have you tried anything from Odell's Brewery? I have. It's been a while. On the channel here, I do have some of the Odell's beers. Um, the last time I picked them up is when I went to Texas uh, last year because um, I went to a Total Wine, and I could get them in Texas when I was visiting. And that was, like, back in June or whatever it was. Um, and I picked up, like, four or five of them when I was down there because I knew about Odell's. And I never got a chance to get to them until then. So once I was there, it was like, well, pick up some of the Odell Brewing stuff. So, and I like I like the stuff that I had. It all seemed to really click. I had the Saint Lupulin. I had the Rupture Fresh Grind IPA. I had their Tree Shaker Imperial Peach IPA. Um, I had their Hammer Chain Fresh Grind, which was a um, double IPA. I thought I had like a, I thought I had a peach one or something from them too, but those were the four that popped up right quick on my untapped. But they're pretty decent. Uh, just so the spread didn't go into details, kind of a cliffhanger vid for reviews. Well, there you go. That's all right. Three hundred. You definitely racked up some nice stuff, I'm sure. Uh, I had a couple from them, uh, DD as well. So Todd's got a few of them. The Five Barrel Ale was incredible. Solid brewery. Yeah, that's what everybody always said about Odell being pretty solid and everything like that. Um, one of their beers, I know, the first time I came across them, it was in uh, 1001 Beers You Must Taste Before You Die. And they had one of their beers listed there that kind of caught my attention. And then finding out more from being in the beer community, it's like if I ever come across them, it's automatically pick up some of their beers, right? It's just they've got such a good reputation. So I just don't get them. In this area, at least I don't. Todd may get them where he's at in Indiana. But in Kentucky, I don't see a lot of distribution. I might get them in Ohio. I haven't looked for them in Jungle Gyms. We do have a pretty good section from out of Colorado. So at some point, I may try to pick up some more of their stuff. 
But the thing is, there's just so many beers that are out there. You're always getting so many different beers from different ones. And with us here, our local set is so great on having the opportunity. I can't even keep up on the beers we have here locally. It's just so many that are available between the breweries that we have. So, But they are definitely uh, good for what I had there. And I think it was the Five Barrel was the one that was in the 1001. Beers you must taste before you die book. Uh, Taz, I don't get them here. Oh, because he picked up them in Chicago on a business trip. Yeah, so see, he's not getting them in Indiana either. So their distribution is just barely maybe past the Mississippi, I guess. So um, if they're getting to Illinois. But yeah, we haven't seen them really down here in my area. But I would think they'd probably be pretty decent. Well, I know they're pretty decent. I would think that the other ones are pretty decent. But I haven't tried But nobody's traveling right now, that's for sure. So, <laughs> you know, my wife says she's supposed to go to D.C. She thinks, like, in May. I'm like, are you, though? Like, because I figured they may move something else again. Which, if she does go to D.C., I may try to go to D.C. at that point, if they do still have to go. Um, depending on what it's all like, of course, with the current environment. Because uh, if there's some things that are open there, I would love to get out to some of their beer scene as well. Or take a get rent a car and shoot over to Baltimore and grab some stuff at the uh, the Guinness Brewery or Heavy Seas. But right now it's kind of keep an eye on all that stuff. It's supposed to be in New Jersey in August. And got some stuff lined up there for some beer stuff. Um but we just don't know. We don't know if we'll be able to travel, if there'll be restrictions or some places might be doing stuff some places may not it's just so much out there order them online from a wine store to buy one or two cases to knock down all the shipping they do have a small distribution range yeah and see the thing is in kentucky we can't get beer ordered into the state under the law which is so stupid but we actually were getting it for a while and then when they had that texas austin that bomber that was putting stuff in the mail. Texas kind of rescinded mailings coming to the state. So, because I, I had, uh, was getting the Beer of the a Month Club, and they had to stop it and send it to one of my friends in Ohio that I work with, and he would I, he'd bring it to work for me. Um, but Kentucky can't do it. Indiana can get it. Ohio can get it. Um, so I wish we could get that stuff, but I just got a thing in the mail. Because once in a while, I like to enjoy some cigars. And they got a new cigar thing. They sent me a deal about some cigars to take a look at. So I may actually get that done. Because I can't get out to get cigars. So right now, mail order works really well to have them just ship it to me. And then uh, check that out. And now we're getting into the cigar smoking weather to sit outside and have a beer and a cigar. Which will be good because... Um, more on the weekends, what I'll probably start doing is some more day videos outside and everything, too. So that, that's always fun. But yeah, but tomorrow, again, 8.30, we'll be doing a National Beer Day stream here on the channel. I'm going to go ahead and get this baby wrapped down. I um, think I might jump onto a little Call of Duty. Eric and Todd, if you guys want to join... You know, it's happy hour here at 10 o'clock. Um, just mess around for a little bit and uh, get some R&R &R before getting up in the morning and starting the day over again, going to work. But thanks to all you guys that came in tonight and chatted with me here. And I didn't know anybody would pop in because the other stream didn't work, but I'm glad you guys did. Of course, always love having you guys in. And, uh, oh, before I go, shout out to... Bacurium, uh, Dodekai, and the Map Man Tennessee, also Mrs. Bounty, and uh, all three of them just recently joined the channel as new subscribers, so I uh, appreciate them actually joining on here as well, and uh, the more, the merrier, as they say. Uh, let me see. Oh, let me do that. Let me check this before I sign off. Uh, Didi says, I'll send you a link. To a hand roll cigar shop in Tampa, Florida, Yeber City. Cool, yeah. Actually, yeah, I miss kind of going down to Florida. To when I used to work my previous job, 
I handle Florida, so I'll be going like every other week to Miami, to Tampa, um, to Orlando. But Tampa was always kind of cool between Tampa and St. Pete. We always had a fun time. Uh, but Miami was just, Miami's just off the hook. So, yeah. Uh, collective Project Sour Dry Hop with Raspberry. That sounds good. Having it now. Well, that should be one you have a good review on. I look forward to seeing that one there, Magnets. Collective Arts doing some uh, good stuff for sure. But thanks to everybody that jumped on. Appreciate all of you guys. And uh, hopefully... You guys are set for uh, tomorrow to start this week, the next day of this week and whatever week we're in for lockdown, if you're in the lockdown type thing. And uh, hopefully this week does go well, but swing back by tomorrow night for the stream and some other stuff. And uh, I'm going to be having a new schedule, like I said. So 9.15 will probably be the hour going forward, um, starting again not really Thursday because Friday I'll be on the other show, but like next week, so to speak. And I'll put the stuff in the about section here on the channel as well. And I'm going to try to do like an upload around two o'clock each day or some other videos that are pre-recorded as well. I would like to see the channel kind of, I don't have the time to really put into it. Like I would want it. I can't want to put into it, but I would like to have it kind of like a network type schedule where you guys will know when things are popping up. Cause I think that makes it a lot easier. Plus YouTube, if you're noticing on your channel, doing some weird things where people aren't seeing alerts on stuff or notifications. So at least I get it to set schedule again. That helps so that you guys know when I'm actually on here kicking it. But thanks again for swinging by. I look forward to catching up with you guys here soon. As always, keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.